Hi everyone, I'm Anne from Anne Makes. Welcome to my channel and I have a Dollarama haul to share with you today. I just came back from Dollarama. Uh, my son needed a ride for an appointment and lo and behold it went so quickly he was done before I was done. So he, I had to make him wait uh, longer than he had to wait for his appointment and his actual appointment. So. Oops. Anyway, um, my Dollarama haul is not that big. I'm calling it my big little haul or my little big haul because I just needed a lot of certain the, the same items. And of course, I picked up a few new goodies. So uh, let's start with the one that's the most exciting for me, okay? I found this framed cork board. Check this out. Isn't it gorgeous? I think it's really, really pretty. Um, it's it's got this nice frame around it. It's a beautiful cork board. I just thought this would be so lovely to have in my studio. I wanted to put some sort of cork board in here, and uh, when I saw this, I was like, oh, I've got to find a spot for this. I just think it's it's really really pretty, and it is uh, four dollars. So if you're looking for pretty cork boards, you might want to check out Dollarama. I don't know. The other thing I, the other thing I picked up to use in my office and in my studio were these pouches. Now I've seen these pouches many times. I have bought some in the past, but today I decided to buy one of each color that they had. These uh, are zippered, zippered folder pouches. They are good for storing documents, of course, whatever. I don't think they're waterproof. They're just mesh. But um, I wanted to get these to store you know projects that I have all these unfinished projects that I have and these are $1.25 each so I got uh, the black stripey one the red stripey one this I guess mauve stripey one solid blue solid black and the blue stripey one so I know I have some other colors in my stash I have pink and white and so these will be added to that and hopefully I will have enough of these now for my projects. Probably not, but so the main reason I was going to Dollarama today was uh, to get more of these storage bins in this size that are uh, 12 and a half by six inches. So they're just six inches wide and they're 12 inches deep. And uh, these, I am using these in my storage and my craft room, right in those cubbies that you see behind me there. Um, they fit perfectly in there to hold um, my supplies and the cubbies I have are deep so I can actually put them like this like for, you know what in a line one to back to back and I'm trying to come up with a system to hook them together so far I've tried those zip ties and they're not too crazy about it I might try velcro so I can at least just pull them both out of the shelf because you know it's pretty deep so I just want to utilize the space as much as possible so I was happy that my store still had some of those and I got that then I went down one aisle where they had the St. Patty's Day um, decorations and I couldn't resist I just had to pick up a package of these mustaches I just thought they would be fun to have on hand for uh, crafting projects and just for being goofy so I got these and speaking of mustaches I must ask you a question <laughs> no. uh, they had these at the cache they are they they look they're like pacifier lollipops they're like they're for the kids okay they're just like a lollipop candy in there and so you imagine there's you suck on this and you forget you're wearing a mustache so I just got these uh, to give to my boys. I don't know if I'll wait till Easter or I'll just give this to them now, but I just, they were fun. And some other crafting goodies that I picked up uh, were the colored paper cords. And um, there's like 20 feet in here, I believe, or 20 meters in each. So I got this one with the orange and green. And the one with uh, a blue, pa a blue, a package of blue and a package of yellow. 
And I also picked up the package with the, the pink and the brown uh, paper cords. Picked up the colored raffia cords as well. These are a little wider. And I got this variety. And I'm sorry, these are $2. And I forgot to tell you that these are $1.25. And this is the other package of the raffia that I picked up. Now, uh, while I was in the craft aisle, I was just look. I, I really didn't have a lot of time because my son had just texted me saying, I'm done, you know, pick me up. And, um, but I thought, oh, I have to check. I have to check for a few things. <laughs> and um, I saw this little cutting mat. I've seen these before. And this one comes with a cutting knife with extra blades. And um, if this is the same knife that I've bought before it's not it's not a bad knife and I picked this up because uh, my son just uh, started getting interested in the hobby of uh, making models those you know little models and uh, I was letting him use my tools uh, for that and I just when I saw this I thought oh this will be nice for him to have he can have his very own so I got this for him and I also got a package of small these tiny paint brushes which I thought he could also use for his model making for like the painting uh, aspect of it. And so I, there are five brushes in here for $1.25. And I've used these brushes before and they're usually pretty good. So I, I hope that he'll appreciate that. Another crafting item that I picked up and I was like, I don't need any more of this, but the bottles are so cute and the colors are so bright. I have to get them. And they, it's a really good deal. Uh, my store has these Elmer's brand uh, set of little glitter glue bottles. And um, I thought, you know, they, they're really cute little bottles. They have their little squeeze with the little nib. See, they're little bottles like this. So these are fun to play with um, in crafting. Yeah, you know, I think they're just a good size. I like that they seal pretty well, so these shouldn't dry up as fast as some of the other ones that I have. And it's the Elmer's brand, so I know it's pretty good. So uh, you get uh, five of these little bottles for two dollars. A few more craft items. Uh, there were these rolls of Design It floral tape in white, the by Flora Craft. And this is a, also a, a company that I work with, so I know that getting these at the dollar store for one dollar a roll is a really good price. And I really like using white um, in certain crafts that I have. I know a lot of time floral tape is only available in green, and I find it harder to find the white, so I'm glad that I got these at my dollar round. So I've got a few rolls. One more little organizing thing that I got are these little drawer organizers. Uh, you get two for a dollar twenty-five, and I just needed a few of these, so got them. The snack cube things. Um, I picked up this package of snack size bounty chocolate bars for two dollars. The Reese's pieces peanut butter cup snack size pack. This is also $2. And uh, the Snickers pack, a snack pack. There's always 10, all of these, yeah, have 10 little snack size chocolate bars. And the Arrow, which also has 10 little snack size chocolate bars. Uh, finally, another food item I picked up is a couple of these pouches of French's onion gravy mix. I tried this gravy mix this week uh, with a meal for my guys. I can't eat it because of the sodium content, but uh, it smelled really good and they enjoyed it very much with uh, the meat and potatoes that we were that I was serving. So. I got I got a couple more of those because they, these are two for a dollar twenty-five. So my dollar rama, it's pretty good. And last but not least, I just thought this was a hoot, and I thought it would be a perfect little gift for Father's Day. It is a posted distributor in the shape of um, I think this is a driver in golf. I don't 
or a putter, I don't know, one of those golf stick things. So it's the head of a, it's really heavy too. And uh, so someone I know who's an avid golfer, I thought would appreciate uh, this and for for a little gift. So uh, that's it for my Dollarama haul today. I told you it was not that big, but uh, it was just what I needed. And uh, earlier today I uploaded uh, a really sh short video for uh, making a fairy garden from Dollar Tree items and that was a paid po po video so heads up for those of you who um, find the video too too short or too quick uh, this this is my job I have I have to make certain videos with, uh, within certain requirements so that's what I was doing there if you ever want me to um, show you a longer version of the same project or process and one of my own videos I, I can do that I just have to say so in the comments and I'd love to do that um, so uh, thank you so much for watching thank you all for all your support I appreciate it because I am definitely over the 1000 mark I'm not quite at the 1111 yet but uh, so as soon as we get there I will be doing a giveaway so thanks a lot for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and I will see you after the next video. Bye!